This channel is proudly sponsored by Earscapes. Check out their Patreon for audio dramas, free previews and exclusive tiers featuring music, content creation and all things related to professional creativity. You will find the link in the description and in the pinned comment. Hi! Welcome to this part of my review featuring Fading Sons, the character book. If you haven't seen the other parts of my review featuring this passion play of sci-fi drama in tabletop RPG format, please check out the playlist in the description below. This time we are going to talk about actions. In a single turn, a character can take each of the following actions. One primary action, such as an attack or dodge. One movement action and any number of secondary actions, such as speaking briefly, making a hand gesture, etc. Primary actions almost always require a roll, and secondary actions rarely use rolls. A primary action is the main action you perform in your turn. It often requires a goal roll, from which you can gain VPs or victory points. You can instead choose to use your primary action as an additional movement action, effectively doubling your movement rate for that turn. Certain special maneuvers and powers might allow you to perform an additional primary action in the same turn. Concerning your movement action specifically, you can move up to your full movement rate, which for human-sized species is 10 meters per turn. The secondary actions don't require rolls as I have specified, and don't usually award victory points. Concerning reflexive actions, a reflexive action is an action you can perform before your proper turn in the initiative order. You do it in reaction to someone else's action, such as when someone attacks you and you reflexively dodge. You essentially take your action then and there, instead of waiting for your turn to come around. You can also carry out other maneuvers, which usually require or involve the use of a skill plus characteristic. Now, when it comes to long-term tasks, sometimes you need to do something that simply can't be achieved with a single roll. You might need to repair damage from multiple blaster shots to a starship's engines, for example. Such large tasks are typically handled in narrated time. A task could be abstracted into a single die roll action, once the character has spent sufficient time doing it. Or it could be broken down into a series of stages, each of which requires a roll. If any stage fails, the whole task is at risk, a second failure could end it prematurely. In each case, the Game Master assigns a resistance to either the task as a whole or each stage of the task based on its difficulty. And this concludes this part of the review, in the next part we are going to talk about trait ratings. When it comes to the resolution and handling of actions in general, this is a catch-all category. Any sort of action, anything that you can describe within a particular combat instance or even outside of combat can easily be handled through this actions system. Thank you for watching this part of the review, don't forget to leave a like, a comment and subscribe. And thank you so much to those of you that are going the extra mile to support the channel. If anyone else wishes to further support the channel through PayPal or Drive for RPG, the information will be in the description and in the pinned comment. This has been Abraham El Jaguar, a professional game master. If you want me to run a game for you, please check out the pinned comment as well. And remember, in tabletop RPGs, you are not telling stories about your characters, you are experiencing the game world as your characters. Once again, thank you and see you later!